folks, and welcome back to Micah's Kitchen. We've hit a milestone. Today is our 100th, or I mean third, third episode. Thank you very much. And today, we're going to make something with moose meat. It's a ground moose meat that I got from my friend Ivan the Beautiful from Dokis. Yeah. French River, folks. Yeah. It's going to be a beautiful thing. I got this idea from my friend Pete Bowman from Fishing Canada who said, Mike, gah, why don't you do something with some goddamn wild game? And I said, you're goddamn right, Pete. So I'm going to do some kind of funky meatballs with a funky dipping sauce with these moose balls and a stuffed moose meat. Moose meat. I've got to use my words again. Um, what is it called? Like okay. moose balls. Moose balls. No, we're already doing the moose meat. I'm really screwing it up here now. We got an onion ring. It's a moose meat onion ring. Stop. That we're going to stuff ring. with moose meat and cheese and all kinds of seasoning and a panko breadcrumb with a little flour and egg. And away we go. Okay, we're going to start with the onion. I've already cut a gigantor Spanish onion into some inch or so thick slices. Like so. Magic. We're going to peel these apart. And all of these hors d'oeuvres are just in time for the big game. Oh, yeah. Apparently there's a big game coming up. A super this game. Weekend. A super game. They throw some kind of a... The big ball. They throw a pig a pig skin or yeah, something like that. The big ball. Not a lot oh, of the super about game. A bowl. It's a really super and a lot of people and stuff like that. There'll be people singing at it and everything. Everything. Okay, you got to be very dainty because you don't want to break these and cause a little snap of your folks. Snapple, not the beverage. So it's like you're peeling your onion. You're peeling onions. Look at no crying either, folks. Oh, we've got a couple more magic ones here. Okay. Boom. Goes the dynamite. I like your gloves. Thank you very much. It's very sanitary. My hands. my hands are very soft, so I just had them done the other day, so. Wow. And that's not even a joke. <laughs> okay, we got our little uh, moose meat mixture that we have cooked off. So we've got about maybe about a pound and a half to two pounds of moose meat and 30% pork ground. in there. Ground pork. And we cooked that off in the pan there earlier, which we are going to show you off to the side. And then to make our mixture, we added a little bit of parsley, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, some ground pepper, some soy sauce, and some Warwick Cheshire. And then cook, mixed it, cooked it all off, let it cool, added a bunch of cheese in there, sharp cheddar, whatever cheese you want. And don't forget, you can use whatever meat you want, but I chose this delicious Dokis moose meat. Thank you, Ivan. You really like using Italian spices. Why yes. would that be? I don't know. It could be my heritage. Oh, oh yes. I'm not sure. That. Okay, look at this. Look at the size of that. Wow. Oh my. That's not just an hors d'oeuvre. No, that's, that's a super a, hors d'oeuvre. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Folks. In the shape of a bowl. In the shape of a bowl. That's For a super hors d'oeuvre bowl. Super game this weekend, folks. Super game. Did anyone see the shirt today? Hello, my name is Johnny Cash. Rawr! <sighs> Oh, I love Johnny. Oh my God. Can you smell these ribs? God rest his soul. Yes. Oh, I can smell it. Oh my. You know what else I smell? Can you smell my balls? Oh, I can smell them. In the them. oven. In the oven, folks. <laughs> In the oven. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. On the riverbank. Remember that show? I don't remember that show. A little bit of animal cruelty going on there with JP Gerbil and Matthew Mouse. Hammy Hamster. How could a hamster... Is that what that was or called? Or a gerbil. How could a... How could a... Yeah. How could a gerbil fly Like the friendly plane? giant. They always fed them those and big giant berries. Yes. And there was a mouse that... He drove a boat. Yeah. And he would pull Hammy Hamster around water skiing. Hmm. I probably think no animals were harmed during the filming of that. 
Okay, anyways, back to this show. <laughs> These are stuffed and ready. And now we're gonna do a quick rinse. Camera stop. Camera has Michael's best side. Micah! My backside. Smile! <laughs> You're a <all> candid <laughs> camera. Okay, now we're gonna take some Penko. Reaching. We got some flour and we got some egg. Okay. What order are we gonna go in? Here, and that panko right have, uh, what have you done with that panko? Oh, that panko? I added a little uh, chicken soup base seasoning, which I learned that from a lot of chefs that I've worked with over time. So that's it's the dry delicious. stuff? Yes, sir, it's All a dry right. powder. Just add according to taste, you know, just a good little handful. So now we're gonna dip these in the flour, then the egg, and then the panko, and try not to be messy. This is gonna be so. And you've got what, three eggs beat? We got three eggs beat. Beat. Beaten like it owes you money, buddy. Flour first, eh? Fleur. Fleur I, always use, I always figured that you'd go to the egg first, but that's just me. I'm not a chef. Flour. Egg. Trying to keep one hand dry here. Oh. Dippity do. Dog. Number two. Oh, it looks good. This is quite this a, is gonna a impress messy, 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 anybody. messy anybody process, but worthwhile, my friends. Oh my god. Anybody that likes to eat is going to oh. just love this. That's a good thing you asked me over here today. Yes. Because I'm gonna Steve just is love spectacular this. at being in taste test or and filming this beautiful little show. It's like I was born to be a taste tester. I know. I'd like to give a shout out to the vlog I watch, The Trooper. As you can see my hat, Go Gamble. He's a Las Vegas vlogger and has been entertaining to me for years. And that kind of got me interested even though my show is completely opposite of his, which you should check him out. But got me into this, folks. What does he do? Gamble? He does a little gambling, tours Vegas, eats at some nice spots, just entertains you because for the several times I've been to Vegas and then you see all the spots where he goes and saying, hey, I've been there. We are back, Jax. We're going to fry these bad babies right now. To the fryer we go. Come on over, Steve. Yes, sir. Uh oh I hear the beeper of my balls. I can smell your balls, I Micah. smell my balls. I can smell the balls. Oven timer off. And the beautiful balls. Oh, oh the smell of it. Those beautiful balls. So now we're going to break into one and see. Make sure we are done. Brooks and done. We are done. Oh, yes. You, you like it just a little bit pink in there in the middle there, don't you? Oh, maybe we can go in for another minute. I don't mind it. Just to be safe for everybody's. But yeah, oh yeah, you're good to go with that. Yeah. Does it got a little flavor country? It sure does. It's an Asian flair. Asian flair today, folks. Asian flair and these moose balls. Now I'm just going to wipe up all this stuff. We'll be off. And what have you got your stove set to? We're at about medium here. Medium heat? It needs to be at about 350 degrees, folks. Oh, but I've got not... more oil in there than the last time. Oh, yeah, about an inch and a half or so. We're going to de start deep frying these. Yes. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. And I think they're going to be about three or four minutes aside. oil up a bit more now yeah usually when I'm like cooking in oil when I put my stuff in there shit flies everywhere goes, Psh! I don't want that because that's danger Will Rogers yeah danger oh yeah it just goes like 90 and then the oil smokes a little bit this could have been a little hotter of course folks so. well I think your method seems to be better but, cooks all the way through yeah oh yeah 
Okay, while those are going, let's make the dipping sauce for that. That sounds How great. does that sound? Micah, that sounds great. Okay, we're back, folks. Da -da -da. Now we gotta remember, we gotta keep an eye on these while they're going, and we're gonna make our little dipping sauce for this. So, the dipping you do the day. day. We got a hoisin sauce, which is like a, how do we explain a hoisin sauce? It's like a sweet, salty, a little bit of fennel, chili pepper, garlicky taste. Using a lot of Asian dishes and for dipping. And then we have a little bit of... Where do you get that, Micah? You can get that at any grocery store. We have some rice vinegar. We have some garlic. Should have had everything lined up here, too. Sorry about that, friends. A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit of sesame seed oil. And a little bit of ginger. Remember her from Gilligan's Island? Oh, she, she was, was my a, first love. She was a beautiful lady. I like I, Marianne, though, because of the coconut cream pie, though. Nice. Right? <laughs> how did, how did, where did they get all the ingredients no. for that? That's crazy. There's no way. It looked like it was the best, the best coconut cream pie. I did love Marianne, too. Who couldn't? Mm. Okay, these are cooking away nicely. So, we'll make our little saucy sauce sauce. To dippity do. Look at that. Oh, party. A super party. It sounds like a great party. Two teams, heads, on the field. Throwing around football. Oh, the choppy moose Oh, yum, yum. Soy. Sesame oil, too. I believe it was like a teaspoon and a half. Thanks to my friend Kenny Cooley, who does a beautiful job at editing this. Cool, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, we're going to whisk this all up for a tasty little treat. And it's good to go right after you whisk it. And, and right now, before we forget, oven off, and we're gonna take our bowls out. Yeah, baby. Because now you can really smell my balls again. Look at that. Oh, oh my. La da. La -da, -da. So we can even put this right here. So, how do you make them meatballs, Micah? All right, my friend. Get our little uh, cutting board out. More tools. More tools of the trade. Oh, another nice shot. Hey, bud. That one's for the ladies. Yes, ladies. So, in these. So, how do you make those meatballs, Micah? In these little meatballs here, we've got a mixture of our moose meat, our pork meat, and see, I'm gonna read from the recipe because this is my first time sort of creating this little dish. But and you did create it. I did create it. I looked at a bunch of different recipes for this kind of flair. And so we went with approximately two pounds of meat in here, which doesn't look like it there because it's all in there. And we're gonna go back to these quickly though. First, head on over here, Stephen. Oh, oh. your uh, spidey senses must have been tingling. Something fun. Is oh, happening. look at these stuffed onion rings. Getting the golden brown. Look, 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 okay. look, look, we'll come back to that in a, wow. maybe four more minutes or so. Just a nacho. It looks just like the frying pan out on the side of the French River with uh, know, fish okay. frying in the baby. You could do and then you're just going to make little, say they're approximately about an ounce, maybe an ounce in a teeny weeny bit ball, just like that. Very simple. Pull her up, roll her up, put her down. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody's made a meatball. Oh my goodness. Yes. Or touch balls. And see, yes. Yes. <laughs> and like I said, you can use any kind of meat you want. But like I said, I chose this delicious moose meat. French River Moose Meat. Sponsored by the Dokis Marina and Restaurant. Thank Run you. by Micah. Thank you, Budden. And Budden Jess Restool, owner operators, who gave me a beautiful opportunity last summer for running their kitchen. And I met a lot of beautiful people. Hence, Ivan giving me this moose meat to take home. And ta-da, just like that. We have balls. We got balls. And we're gonna go back to our ring-a-ding-dings. There, your balls are done. Just like that, my friends. Magically, they're already cooked, too. And look at that. Boom, from there to there. It's like a wow moment. So how long roughly have these been in here, Micah? Oh, probably about four or five minutes aside you want to go. 
That's a thick one. Mike, don't be messing that one up. Look at that. Looks like it's got my name on it. That possibly, possibly does. Yeah. Okay. We're just about a minute away. And to dip these bad babies in, which Kenny's going to show us on the side, I roasted a garlic bulb. So you just cut off the top of the bulb, put it on some tin foil, a little salt, pepper, a little olive oil, which we'll show you on the side here. The whole bulb. The whole bulb. Then I Not the clove. No, the whole Not bulb. Not to be confused with Cut a clove. Cut the top off. And then you roasted that at about 400 degrees for about 30, 35 minutes. Comes out, let it cool for a little bit. You put your cup of mayonnaise in here. Green onions is an option. A couple of tablespoons of thinly sliced. A little bit of pepper. You don't need any more salt in there because of the mayonnaise. And then just squeeze that bulb in there. Mix the holy crap out of it. Let squeeze it the bulb. Squeeze the bulb, just squeeze that all in there. And oh. then away you go. Did you peel the, the, the skin off of it before you put it in? You do not have to, that's what I'm saying. You just cut the top off that bulb, wrap it in the tin foil with your olive oil, salt, and pepper, roast it off, let it cool for a bit, and then you just squeeze that because you've got the top cut off and everything comes in. Okay, friends, we are going to decorate my balls now. Oh, nice. This was the part I was waiting for. I thought so. I've seen the other version, but I've never seen this one. This, this is a much kinder version. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so. I'm gonna do a little of our saucy sauce sauce. You could almost put those balls on a charcuterie just, board. Like. Oh my goodness, yes. We got it on a little board here. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. And then also you can toothpick and dip if that's your poison. A little bit of sesame seed, folks. Who doesn't like some green onion? Oh, green onion rocks. Be timing. Oh, they are looking yeah, 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 yummy. Oh. Get rid of the Danger Bay one. That's a Danger Bay one. Trouble in the hen house. Thank you, Tragic. Yep. Yeah. Oh! See me jump? That's like a fishing jump. <laughs> me jumping, scared by a fish. So. Yeah. Those yeah, are you, many, many other yeah. stories. Yes, yeah. yes, you are a big baby. Yeah, I guess there's many facets where I've been a baby in, folks. Yeah, well, that squealing like a, 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 a baby was uh, was good. But that was a 50, 50 inch musty you had. That was. 50 that was what? Two? 52 and three quarter inch. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I have the photo. It's what they all say. Yeah. Okay, my friends. It's time. We're just going to bring this over here. Look at this Super hot. little charcuterie board. Look, oh, you can see the cheesy, the melty. Oh my. We're gonna green onion that too, hey, why not? Yeah, yeah. Okay, my friend, would you like to come over and uh... Oh, you better cut another one of them onion rings. Oh, All right. right. Don't, don't be shy. There is nothing. Yeah, how many people are here for my super Super party right now. Oh, there's like, oh, uh, there's like, <laughs> like, uh, a few, a there's couple. Some, there's some hungry bears there's, though, there's, right? There's a couple. Is there some hungry bears here, folks? Yes, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we won't have a problem eating all of that. Okay, there you go, my friend. Oh, Steve is hot. gonna, oh yeah, I guess we'll, we can wait a moment. Good mama. You can try the balls though. Go for the balls first, buddy. You think? Okay. Go balls deep. How many times do you say balls in one episode? Mm. Nice. Nice little oh, that's Asian kind of flair. And you can still taste the moose meat though. Oh, correct? Good like time. you can, yeah. Best meat on the face of the planet, bar none. None. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm. 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 That sauce there, bud? Really good. That was mm -hmm. my first time making the Asian dipping sauce. Very good. And I didn't follow the recipe. I tried different little things and I was like, oh, 
That's really good. Well, now it's time. Now it is time. He's going. It might be really hot though. Uh huh. Okay. Then I'm going to wait. Mm. Un momento, por favor. I just saw the smoke coming out of his beautiful little mouth. And there. What a treat. But I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this and like and subscribe once again. This is a super treat. To Micah's Crazy Kitchen. Click, click, click. Click, the click. S subscribe. Subscribe, click. Comment. All right, I'm going to try this. Comment yeah. on this might be hot. Any shit. ideas for Micah to try, put them in your comments. Uh -huh. yeah, fix them yeah. up. <laughs> oh, man, mm. But then again, cheers. Oh. Careful. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Have a nice day.